Welcome back to Shifting News. We are at the Uhuru Highway immediately after Helsinki roundabout. We are headed to the Westland side. Historians will tell you that Nairobi was originally a Maasai phrase, Enkare Nairobi, which meant the place of cool waters. This was a reference to Nairobi River that cuts its way through the capital city. area was originally consisting of an inhabited swamp. We have been lucky to see the transfer of some of the heavy machineries used during construction. You will be treated to spectacular views of the CBD while using the expressway. President Uhuru Kenyatta initiated the construction of the expressway on the 16th of October 2019 with the promise of decongesting the capital city. Itasaidia kuondoa usongamano wa magari 
katika hii barabara tukiendelea mbele tunaelewana ya tatu itatusaidia kuhakikisha ya kwamba mji wetu mkuu wa Nairobi utakuwa unalingana pamoja na miji mikuu ya nchi hata zile zimeenda mbele yetu wale ambao wanajenga barabara mbele ya watoe watu kutoka sehemu zingine kwanza wahakikishe ya kwamba vijana wa embakasi wa mulolongo wa madhare wa kibira ambao wako hapo ndio watakuwa wa kwanza kuandikwa si ni kweli the mega project worth 62 billion Kenyan shillings is going to transform the capital city into ultra modern economic hub in East Africa and Africa at large. Initially, the expressway was to cut through the historic Uhuru Park, which is among the few remaining public parks within Nairobi city. Following public outcry, the 620 million dollar project had to be redesigned to ensure that Uhuru Park survives. The stretch will run for 27 kilometers from Lolongo to the western parts of the capital city at James Gishuru Junction. It is fully funded by a Chinese firm. China Road and Bridge Corporation on build operate transfer model Nairobi is one among the unique and dynamic cities in Africa. It will soon be one among the best investment destination within the region. It will become a city where people from other countries will be coming to seek for greener pastures.
Westlands is both a residential and commercial center in Nairobi.
one of the fabrication yards is located in West Estate to precast bent caps, columns, and girders. The West Estate is located as you head to Udiru. Now we have come all the way from Udiru, we have traversed Kangemi, and now we are at the James Gishuru Road Junction, where the Nairobi Expressway will terminate. As you can see, this is James Gishuru Junction near APC Center, and uh, the construction is still ongoing. And believe it or not, the road will be ready by early 2022. It was anticipated to be completed by December 2022, but it has been fast-tracked and we believe by early 2022, we shall start using the Nairobi Expressway. So keep it shifting news as we bring in more news and more interesting news. A lot of people have applauded the progress of the Nairobi Expressway and Nairobians are eager to experience the drastic changes it will bring along. Nairobians are expecting to experience less to no traffic snarlaps. Like this video, share and comment. If 
if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe thank you and see you in the next video